Russian Federation is a really very dangerous for unity of the uh, European Union. This hybrid information war uh, lead to disinformation in many uh, European countries. A former war correspondent who covered conflicts in the former Soviet Union, the EPP group's Yaromir Shtetina, speaks on a different kind of war. He says Russian President Vladimir Putin is waging against the EU, hybrid warfare. The aim of this war, of this disinformation, is to divide the uh, European Union. And our duty is to do something against this. At a public debate he hosted in the European Parliament, Stettina invited officials and analysts to discuss the extent of Russia's information war and how to fight it. The European Values Think Tank released a new report analyzing the security and foreign policy strategies of the EU28 with regard to the Russian threat. European intelligence agencies are growingly warning about a possible Russian interference or the interference which is already happening, for example in the Netherlands or in Germany as well. Jakub Yanda leads the think tank's Kremlin Watch. He's monitoring alleged Russian undercover attempts to influence elections in Europe, including one that's underway in France. There already is a big support for Marine Le Pen from financial side, symbolic side, and uh, so that's what's happening. And also attacks on her, on her opponent, Mr. Macron. So they are attack, attacks through disinformation channels, through efforts to hack his campaign. So that's clearly how Russia tries to interfere in the French elections. At a recent EPP Group Congress in Malta, MEPs approved a resolution titled Russian Disinformation Undermining Western Democracy. It says the EU's East Stratcom unit, with only about a dozen personnel countering disinformation, needs more staff and funding. It urges all member states to follow the Czech example and create an agency to identify and counter disinformation and propaganda and it urges greater EU-wide coordination of counterintelligence efforts. It's not about one agency or one center, but really having a full-time policy which the government would devise against this threat, against foreign interference in elections and also in, in domestic affairs of that country. So it's not only about country intelligence work, but also about public policy and uh, media education, uh, media literacy in schools. Stettina says Europeans are in a state of war with Russia, bombarded with fake news and other disinformation. Not easy for a free and open society to fight. But he says it is possible with the right tools in hand. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.